He does. So it's funny because oh, know. we talked right after that at cost. Yeah, right. like it's funny because I played DDD when the game first came out, and I dropped him because everyone else played DDD in Columbus. I thought that's how it was everywhere, and imagine, then I found out it's just Columbus. Imagine a world where DDD is the popular thing. Anyway, he is. we're gonna get to uh, game yeah, one starting on uh, PS2, of course. Hop yeah. into this. So F and I, Biggie Cheese. What is that sponsor? You know what? I don't know. I'm gonna <laughs> ask him. I drove him here. I didn't even think about it. So I this matchup starting off exactly how we kind of assumed it would. Just. The wall. Oh, he's got the holy water. Okay, that could be big too. Donkey Kong catching that, like his, he puts out so much damage so quickly. I feel like anything that he gets out of that holy water conversion could be like correct, amazing. Correct me if I'm wrong. If Donkey Kong catches and throws the holy water, he can still be hurt by it though. He still can, yeah. But I think he can uh, still set something up. Oh, oh he's off stage. Got the guard. Oh, really nice, just like evading in the air there from uh, Biggie Cheese. Yeah, Boom's doing really well too. Like he knows that he cannot stop the pressure. He's just playing super aggressive and just trapping him in every possible situation he can. Like, even right now, forced the ledge. Was back. Okay, the down tilt actually low profile the back air. Otherwise, I was certain death. I would have been an angle. I know he could have made it back from. This is one of those matchups. We're going to see a lot of both characters sitting on the ledge. Yeah, this is going to be a very strange matchup. The parry oh, on giant punch. Parry's the giant punch. That is amazing to see. Okay, keeping himself safe Ooh. there. Got that back air. Really nice cross there to protect himself on the edge guard. Got to keep himself safe there. Oh, Donkey Kong just having enough to survive that back throw. Uh, Belmonts do actually have really good throws when it comes to just, like, pure knockback, like um, F throw and back throw both can just really take socks way sooner than you expect them to. Yeah, back throw, a great tool too. I see a lot of Belmont players use it even when they're at low percent just to set up the edge guard right. because that ledge trap is so good as Belmont. <laughs> he got thrown out the club so fast. Yeah, he's uh, he gone. Forward throw still won't kill Donkey Kong, such a big boy. Trying to do the same. Oh, but that axe is going to yep. just wreck all of his possible recovery angles. Playing against the Belmonts just feels like I'm playing a bullet hell. Like I'm playing uh, like really Enter the are. Gungeon or something. Right. Thankfully, as a man that has played both Cuphead and Enter the Gungeon, I get it. Oh, see what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, my the holy water. goodness. Use it to what set up for that throw confirm. Got a bunch of damage. And it wasn't even like, he wasn't at kill percent, so he still was able to combo at it. But at kill percent, I think you can just straight up kill him. Yeah, that was so well played from Boom there. Boom looks like he knows the matchup, which is surprising because there's not a great Belmont in Columbus. Like, not that I can think of, at least. Apologies if I'm too. forgetting someone. Ooh, max range with that F smash, but it didn't come through. So if what is Biggie Cheese strategy? Let's say Biggie Cheese loses this, this right game. Here. Does he go? Does he go uh, Ganondorf, or will he, will he stay? Do you think? I'm not sure. For anyone uh, just tuning in, all the top 32 is going to be best out of five. So there's going to be ample time for every player to uh, like adapt and figure out the situation. We could see a Ganon switch, but I I think Belmont. I think Belmont's still a good choice. Yeah, shout out to 2GG for running the best of five for the whole top 32. You very rarely see that. Yeah, that's that part's sweet. Oh, he's trapped again. It's a so commitment, yeah. but it's worth it. I think. There's, there, you're right. They're both of these people want to have the other person trapped with the ledge literally Ooh, forever. There we go. Oh, can That'll he? Do no, it for he can't sure, make that. Yes. Yeah. Especially out of a jump. At 148, Boom has made the most of both of his stocks so far. I think plus 150 on both of them when he died. That is not what you want to be seeing as Biggie Cheese. You want to try to get some earlier kills on Donkey Kong. Okay, let's talk about F tilt. Belmont oh. F tilt is broken. <laughs> it's so good. In awesome. send tweet. Like, it's so dumb. Also, Belmont F tilt has the exact same frame data as it does in the game. Does it's the really? exact same frame data. I don't know if it's Symphony of the Night or which game they got that data from, but such a faithful recreation of a, 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 of a beloved character. I really like that attempt that Boom went right there. I knew he was going to trap him on the platform, tries to up smash and catch attack options, but he was just a little bit off the mark. Yeah. But now Biggie Cheese is set up for another edge guard. Boom loves falling with that down B. It is one of his favorite ways to, to Oh, it's land. really good. It's fairly safe on landing, Ooh. unless you get a parry oh. punish. That's going to do it! Bro, Ooh. one parry led to all of that. It seemed like everything was like so even, and then as soon as that parry came through, he just went like anime mode, just Biggie got that cheese. crazy combo. You are nutty. I, <sighs> Biggie Cheese is insane. So here's the thing, he got the dare, I'm like, oh, is he gonna go for up B or anything like that? No, he throws the ax. Ax not only covers all the uh, defensive options he could have chosen, but it lingers so long that there was just nowhere that he could go, and it killed off the top, and he died at like 90. So. Donkey Kong was previously living at like 170, 180 on all those stocks, and then he just reminded us that Belmont can still kill that early. But um, yeah, that was really surprising because everything, Boom was playing really well, and everything was just like really close, and that just was just an explosive conversion to Big Cheese. Oh, good, good stuff too. Showing us that uh, up B out of shield is totally a good option for this character. Yeah, up B out of shield, one of the best up B out of shields in the whole game. It comes out so fast, does good damage, great knockback. And what's wild about it is that, like, you're setting up this wall, and you're like, oh, I finally got to get to this character. And then that's also still, like, one last burst option just in case to still so keep you safe. The reason Biggie Cheese didn't go for the second hit of that down tilt there is I think he was hoping for the cross to come back in and clip, but he was just a little off time on that cross. Oh, man. He loves that setup of the, the cross to make up for the second hit of down tilt. Boom is in a literal bullet hell. Where oh, do you go? No. As Donkey Kong with such, like, well, decent movement options for a heavy, still not great movement options. 
No projectile of his own. Yeah, how does he even approach in this matchup? Right. It looks like Biggie Cheese figured something out from uh, about the second stock of that first game to now. He is. Oh, the charge, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and the sweet spot F smash, too. 65% on his first stock. All right, Boom, he's got to figure something out quick. Yeah, this is looking really, really rough. He's just got to stay in his face, but Big E Cheese is just setting up the wall perfectly. This exact situation with Cross coming back and Axe going high, it just leaves Donkey Kong with no way to approach. Oh, oh wow. There, you know what? Very ah. smart. Well, if you step in front of the chain, it will not grab ledge. That was good play from Big E Cheese. Or, uh, boom there. Yeah, that's really smart, actually. I had never uh, thought about incorporating that. But yeah, if he hits you, he, that's it. So they, yet another way to get Belmont. Not that we need it more, but it's good to know. Yeah, Belmont recovery just leaves a lot to be desired, let's be honest. But thank God it does. Oh, yeah. Imagine Belmont with, like, a peach level recovery, like... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't want that Black Mirror episode. No broken. <laughs> no way. The back air is coming through. I think another... <gasps> Ooh, the giant oh! punch! That was sick from Boom. And just like that, Boom brought this all the way back in his last stock. Yeah. But He's Boom's got to be really out how does, how does Boom get out of that corner? Oh, just like that. Running in with that down tilt, getting this huge conversion. Up B. If he'd gotten that second back here, that could have been the stock. It would have been. Up B actually just saved his life. Oh, is this it? Not is a lot of people punish that F tilt. Great, uh, great job by Boom. Oh, oh nice no air dodge. Patience. Great air dodge. Oh, here come the axes again. It's he, so hard for him. Up. He two framed with the down tilt? Okay. Boom doing a phenomenal job off stage of avoiding these axes. Ah, uh, uh, yep, there we go. Dipped a little too low. Brought that all the way back. That was a did. big, big last stock from Boom there. Yeah, I, I definitely think it's just going to be a really momentum heavy based, uh, base set that we're going to see because he he really like was like one backer away from like reverse three stocking that match but one thing i love about boom is boom is such a goofy guy like he's out there laughing he's having fun he's down 2-0 but it's like he is one of those players who does not get phased by that crap he just wants to have fun and play smash and like expand on some people right 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 and biggie cheese is probably in he's, he's in a similar camp too like everyone he's playing i always feel like people are like both smiling uh typically uh game three we're gonna run it back to the same stage i'm not exactly sure how i feel about going to the same stage like three times when you you know what i mean that, that might just be my personal thing but I like to mix up the stages a little bit when I'm, like, losing. This stage, this tournament does have, like, a limited stage list. There's only going to be seven stages total available, which I honestly I think is a move. I'm okay with a more conservative stage list, but maybe that's how you kind of get locked in this situation. I'm not Hungry sure. Box has said he doesn't like going back to a stage he just lost on, and I really respect that. I don't either. Yeah. It's, you know, maybe I need that change of pace. Now, if it's, like, a last stock, like, really close, okay, maybe I'll go back. But, yeah, if I just got two or three stock, you best believe I am not going back to that last stage. Oof. He is really setting up this wall. So the be the best burst option that Doom seems to have is go for these like uh, dash attacks or maybe these uh, F tilts. Oh, He's what dead. a punish! Yeah, what an incredible punish! Really hard to survive that. We I've actually played him before and I've died to that as early as like thirty percent. So yeah, there's, there's not a lot that Doom can do in that situation. Biggie Cheese. Oh, the convert. Kind of oh, dancing on Boom God. right now. Oh, 50, Look at that. Fifty-six percent. This is this is yucky. All right, Boom coming in with the back airs. Oh, he uh, stalled himself with the down air, but Boom had enough patience to wait and get another up air out of it. Oh, but how does he – he can't – this just looks I, – I don't know what the answer is. It's just, it's just a puzzle that I don't think Boom can solve. Boom needs to get more of his punishes. That's what it is. Boom has not quite maximized all of his punishes. That's what it is. When he gets hits, he needs to maximize those more than he has so far. Ah, no. Tried to catch his uh, roll with the FB, but he's able to get past it, and he just straight up dies for it. All right, let's see if Boom can go, uh, like, beast mode, try to win this. Otherwise, Boom is heading to the loser's bracket. Yeah, and it's, it's looking really, really rough. But again, we saw him make that uh, huge comeback from the previous game, so maybe he can do it again. But Biggie Cheese is, you know, he's not even using as many projectiles as he was before. He's just honestly starting to just outspace him with F-Tilt. And again, I think that move is ridiculously Well, good. I think Biggie Cheese realized, like, I have more range than anything Donkey Kong has. Like, I can kind of do whatever I want in this matchup. Look at the traps, too. He, he set up everything on the ledge, let him air dodge past it, and he still had, like, an up-tilt. And then another, <gasps> that's it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the stock from Biggie Cheese, actually, too. That's unfortunate. Biggie move. Cheese yeah. got progressively better every single game of that set. He really figured out that matchup as he went. And Boom was really starting to keep up, especially in that second game. But game three, it just nothing panned out for him. Like, it, uh, there were points where in the previous set he was able to like shield grab some of the F tilts yeah. from up close, but then you saw him whiff one, and then he just took like a bunch of damage right after. So it's just one of those things where it's just it's an unfamiliar matchup, I know. And then also once the momentum gets going in a in a situation where you have to like run into projectiles forever, it's just it's just so hard for or really any character. Biggie